Hello and welcome to another Nikomedia tutorial. Uh, sorry for the longer break here you now in between, uh, but I'm really busy at the moment. And uh, but next next weekend, uh, yeah, or next during the next week, it it will be better, and I have more time to do again some tutorials and everything. Uh, but at this time, the last two weeks, it was really really busy. Uh, but um, Half an hour ago, uh, followers sent me this picture and asked me if I can show how I, how he could do this. And yes, this picture is from Philip Hodas and he has some really great renders here and all done in Cinema 4D, so uh, we should be able to tackle this volcano. And yeah, I re really recommend to go on his side and uh, he has some really crazy ideas and great renders. And yeah, so mm, this is a, a more or less live tutorial, but because I didn't try it before, so so, and I do not really know how we we start with this thing, but uh, I have an idea. So I think the volcano I do with a displacement deformer, and this will be funny. This building here, this chrome building, and as I said, maybe this is a little faster tutorial. Uh, because as I said, I am really busy, but uh, this guy, this follower, bribed me with a bottle of fine uh, single malt scotch. So, uh, by the way, uh, greetings to best charts to to <laughs> Scotland. And of course, so I couldn't say no. That would be nothing. So let's try this. So as I said, I think I do this. Volcano. At first, I tried it with a landscape object, but I don't think that it works. But then, and then I, if it don't work, we try it with a, a displacer. Good. Let's start. We start with an. Uh, as I said, we tried with a landscape. Oof, make it about two hundred here, and with the plateau level, we go up to something like that and I don't want it so uh, how can we what is we scale now? I really use it very 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 raw this this is object like 200 by 200 here and yes let's see what we can do here Okay, and now I convert this one. So landscape, hit see my keyboard. Go in the polygon mode and I want to select this upper, uh, this top polygons here. So I go to UN for the phone selection. And here I would select everything. So I have to go override and very, very low. So so it should be okay. Yes, that's it. And I select it. With UK, I can shrink my selection. UK, UK, UK. Okay. And now E for the move tool and control on keyboard and drag it down. So I have the crater. But here I have the problem. When I put this in a subdivision surface, NA to hide the mesh. You see this this steps this edges here, so I can't work with this. And everything is here on the same level. Uh, and on the original picture, we have it uh, here lower and here higher. So okay, with the landscape object, I don't want to do it. Nope. So let's try it with the displacer. I take a plane. Uh, you need more subdivisions, of course. NA again to hide the mesh. And select my plane and shift click on the displacer. Good so far. Now in the shading of the displacer, I take a gradient. The gradient, I take a make it smaller here circular and 
invert the nodes here. So right click in the gradient and invert nodes. Down here and we get we get something as you we go to the displacer and make it higher, let's say to 200 that's too much but i don't want intensity centered i want just intensity it's still too high for me so okay let's stay with this for the moment i go to the shader and kind of hard, so. okay now we need a crater we need a hole in the middle go here to the okay now I copy this black handle here, so I control on the keyboard and just drag it to the side and drag it here to the left and you see we get a hole here. Something like that. Okay. Looks nice so far. So next thing I do, uh, I take this handle between this white and this black here. I take this handle here and take it down to the left as far as I can so and if I drag this handle next to it so it's between this black and this white and drag it to the right I should get a nice crater yes okay I'll make it higher here That's 250 okay and if I, we have here an uh, ugly edges too but if I put this in a subdivision surface that looks much better and this is what I like. It looks natural, it looks okay. Mm, yeah, I have a volcano. So, but now, as I said, I don't want it on the same level here in the crater. I want it here a little lower, here a little higher. So what we do is we go to our displays in the shading. And with the shader, we take a layer. So and in this layer now, we have our gradient here. And over the gradient, we take another shader. A noise. Okay. This noise I want uh, in 2D and bigger, 500, let's say. Okay. And now this this uh, lower here, here is lower, here is higher. This I want on my crater. So, oopsie. Okay, let's see how this works and normally it should work when I go from normal to multiply yeah that's it here lower here higher that's exactly what I want make the display so again a little higher let's see 400 okay but I don't like this this uh, smooth thing here so go to our shader and take a, instead of the noise, I try blister turbulence, and immediately I get what I want. That's it. Okay, that's the first thing. Next thing, what I want. Uh, what is the next thing? It looks a little. Boring. Uh, for the for the uh, for the for fine details, we uh, we take later on a, uh, a texture with a displacement again and, and make some fine details like like it, we have it here, so something like this. But I don't want to copy this one to one. I just want to show how it works, and then you can send me your results. What I really love when people send my my results. I thought about to, to make an uh, own, uh, uh, the website for this or for the results of my followers uh, when, when I have time I will do something like this so okay but what I want now is I want some uh, stripes or some creases here down on the on the on the volcano so for this I make another shader and the gradient again and the gradient, I want a radial shader. And here I have some presets here for me. But I want something like this, black, white, black, 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 black. But I'll show you how to make this black, white. It's very easy. Uh, go in the gradient, uh, right click in the gradient here and double the knots. 
Immer double the notes. And again, double notes. Double notes. Double notes. Double notes. And again, double notes. Why not? And here now, right click and distribute notes. So, but I don't. Okay, this is what. Oh, okay, this could work. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I go up one, so, and here again to multiply. And I get something like this. <laughs> Looks funny. Uh, the displacer is, uh, the, this is so it's great to work with the displacement in the cinema. This is so, straight, so, 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 so strong. Uh, but I go down here, of course. Yeah, so I can slightly see it. Maybe I go here to the smooth notes are uh, known. Uh, or maybe linear. Linear, okay. Okay. Let's try again the double the notes. Okay. Distribute the notes and give it a little turbulence here. It doesn't look so... Yeah, now we talk. That's what I want. Okay. And the next thing is I don't want uh, it so flat here on, this, on the edges. Maybe let's make this a little bigger than the, like the bottom here. So make it a little bigger, so yes. And the next thing is I want some displacement here on the edges too. Again, shader, noise. In the noise shader I want 2D again. Let's say again a blistered turbulence, turbulence. 300, we see it later, okay. And now I don't want to multiply, I want to screen it. And go down here, of course. And now I have here some displacement too. Screen it or overlay it. No, screen was okay. That looks quite nice. Okay, and as I said, if we want uh, more finer details, we can later. We can do this later with the texture. And maybe there is enough when we work with a normal map or just a bump map or something else. We will see. But this is for the first thing. This is okay, and I save it. Control S and volcano. Good so far, and now I make a uh, backup folder. Yes, you know, you know it. Meanwhile, uh, we have now the. Uh, by the way, we have the one hundred and one tutorial. No, tutorial number one hundred and one. Uh, and yeah, I was surprised too. <laughs> but, and uh, if I am too fast or something else, please tell me. But I think uh, if you have seen the tutorials before and something else, you know what I do. Meanwhile, you should know what I do, and and I I don't have to say everything or make and and yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, so let's. Make, but if, if I I'm too fast, please tell me and I slow down the tutorials again. But but uh, I think it's okay like this. Uh, yes, so I make my backup tutorial. You will find every script, every plugin I use, you will find it in the description. And guys, please read the descriptions. Uh, yeah, that's it for this. So I have the backup folder. Now I go to the plane, right click, current state to object. Okay, and this plane with the displacer I drag in my backup folder. Okay, now I have my plane here. And we have exactly here a size from 400 to 400. This is exactly what I want. So I have uh, uh, straight edges here. So now I go to my plane, 
uh, disable the subdivision surface for the moment. I go to my plane. Go to the edge selection and UL for a loop selection. Here I need stop at boundary edges and select boundary loop and select this here. Then E for the move tool and just uh, drag it a little down. So control on your keyboard and drag it a little down so that we have something like nice cubes here. Then release everything and again control, drag down, hold your shift key and so you get increments and go to 20 centimeter about. Now I want to flatten this out, this, this uh, selection, so I go to my y axis here and put null. Okay. Again, control, drag it a little bit. This is just that we get uh, smooth edges when we activate our subdivision surface later. Then T for scale and again control and drag a little bit and again control and drag. So okay and now we can close this polygon hole or not. This new, hmm, I will close it, why not. M M D for close polygon hole. Go to the and oops. So, okay and save and now we should have smooth edges when we yeah it's exactly what i want we have a nice volcano here i think looks great <laughs> love it next thing next step uh, let's make the background it's just a dark orange background here you can make it with an uh, with an L studio or something else, so, so, so with a bended uh, plane. Uh, uh, but I of course use my Nicomedia Scene Rig Pro. So I go to my Scene Rig, the script, go down with the floor a little bit. Somewhere like that, okay. That should work. And we need a color. Go to background and floor. I don't need uh, darker edges for this. I think the darker edges I will make them in the post work. So I can delete this one handle here. So I just click on it and drag it down. So, and now I want this orange color. Let's try. There is. Uh, I don't know if it works in, uh, in on Mac in uh, on PC. You can uh, take the color from another program too. So I can take the eyedropper here. Then I, uh, I hit Alt Tab and go to my to this window where do I have to do. Now I can just drag out of this window the color and I have the color here. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, I have to change my my render settings. Delete this octane setting. Okay. Uh, yes, you, you will get the, the project file too. So for download, so you have the render settings then as well. And yeah, and if you have the Nicomedia Scene Rig Pro, you can insert the render settings per script here. You see. Okay, so let's make an, just a, a, a simple texture for the volcano for the moment. So double click in the Material Manager, double click on your material. And my material, it's everything is empty by default, but yours, yours will look a little different, but yeah. Do just what I do, so I need to take a color, white color, reflectance and make it like asphalt, so known, so the electric, here on asphalt, no specular of course, little reflection, something like that, and so that's it for this for the moment, and I'll name it Volcano, 
volcano okay and drag it on my volcano and we have the texture on the volcano good for now uh, the next thing what I want to do is uh, this glass box around so we know we have here oops let's save it well we have here 400 by 400 so let's make a cube the x 400 y doesn't matter at the moment and 400 in the set axis now let's make the y with 250 go in the side view and direct this guy a little up so that we come to the bottom here of this volcano so something like that okay looks nice then I take my glass here glass, and convert it so I take my edit optimize script yep if you don't have or don't want the edit optimize script just hit C on your keyboard and go in point mode right click and optimize then you have the same the class so I take this here this polygon and delete it oops don't want to delete my class I just want to delete my polygon here okay then control a to the, to select every polygon D for extrude I want a little uh, thickness for my glass of course and let's see how thick we do we do I think three centimeter we need caps of course and apply okay so we have some thickness for our glass and I want pebbles on the edges I'm Mr. Pebble so I go to my glass select it go to the pebble deformer shift click on it and I have pebbles but I have here my default is use angle and 40 percent and uh, one and three uh, your default will you don't know what is the real default from cinema 4d but you can do it like this and but here I, the only thing what I want to change is this one is to want the sharper yes because this is a glass edge and this should be sharp maybe 0.3 so nobody hurts it so and we need a glass material of course double click in the material manager double click on the material then uh, we need transparency and we need reflectance in the reflectance channel I have already an, an GGX layer here you see it if you don't have this you just uh, go to add and add a GGX layer transparency is automatically when you uh, activate uh, transparency you get here a layer here in the reflectance so in the transparency I go to uh, this is a reflection class is a reflection of 1.517 okay and drag it on our box here good so far let's see what we get with this render it okay first what I see I don't want this much refraction here it is too much refraction for me here I want I go down with the refraction to 1.1 okay looks much better but I lost, and, and I want to see here I have problems. I want that the volcano intersects with the glass a little bit. So I make the glass a little smaller. So for the, here we come back later. Go to my glass. I don't want a glass point one, I want a normal glass. So, and go to from 406, let's go to 405 here. 405. Right, let's see what we get yep much better and that's it what I want and what I want is more reflections 
So for this I go to the reflectance channel and go to the texture. Take a Fresnel. Here I go to physically. Here now I take the 1.517 and invert it. Now I should have more reflection. Yes, I have it. And another thing is I want not to I don't want the floor to be seen in the refraction. So what I do for this is I go to my Nicomedia scenery, go to background and floor and deactivate here floor seen by reflection. And now I should get yes, now I have reflections like I want it. So let's uh, play with the HDRI a little bit, so I the, the preview on in my scene rig, make it a little bigger the preview, and let's see how we can, yeah, but here we can change later on that is the HDRI. This is just, oh, let's take an other HDRI for a moment. I take uh, this one here. And yep, as I said, we can play with this later. This is just. I every time say we can play with this later and, <laughs> and then I, I try and try and try. Oh, yes, we, we come in. Yeah. Okay, it, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's. No, I I, I changed it to, again. I, I take this one again. So now, yeah, okay. Now let's continue. The next thing is, uh, I want this light in the middle, this cylinder in the middle. And first I want another uh, camera angle and view. So I, I want a picture one to one. So I go to from here to, from 70 to uh, 720 to 720. Okay. De deactivate the preview here. And come in here. So normally uh, for something like normally I use my camera in the in the rig in the scene rig, but we here we need a, just a simple camera, so I don't need to use my rig, my my camera here. Just make a new camera, activate it, and go from thirty six to about eighty. The local length. Okay. Yes. It's better. And what I do now is I give it a right click on the camera and give it a protection tag. So good. So I can't uh, move the camera now. So that it's and now I need this uh, light here between this orange light. So let's make a cylinder. Zip. Let's say ten centimeter and make it bigger. Okay, be careful that it doesn't come out on the floor. So that should be okay. Now we need a material. Double click, double click. Uh, the luminance and orange light. So I put it on my cylinder. 
I need light. But this will be too less. So let's see what we get. Go to the Okay, we have our cylinder, but we don't have the the glowing here on the floor. Let's let's deactivate the glass for the moment. I think it renders faster than yeah. And so I try to make this brighter. Yes, we get the glowing in here. But we don't have the orange color done now. So let's go to here to color. Let's see what we get. Yeah, but now we don't have the glow. Uh, the glow. Does it work with multiply? Yep. Okay. But we have here the orange and here the other color I want to go. I want it here. Okay, that should work. Or I do it like this. I delete this color for the moment. Go here to 100. So I have my orange color. And go to the illumination and go here with the strength up. Now I have, I should have a glow here. Yeah. Yes, this is like, I have my glow here and I have an orange color here. Good. So and now comes the funny part, I think. So save it, control S. Let's make something like this thing here. Don't know how, what he did here, but let's try something. And I see we have much more glow here. Uh, but this we can make in post or a little later. First, we have to make this building because it's in front of the clone then and of the light. So we have to work later on with this. Let's make this funny building. Oops. I would say I make it with a clone and clone some cubes here. Let's play it. So I take a cube, the cube, I make x5, y, okay, set one. So let's see how my cube looks like. So I go to the magic solo is, uh, you can in the R18 uh, you have a solo, uh, you have solo uh, I think in the earlier versions too, but I use the magic solo here. So I go to my solo and have just a cube here. And go to my cube and want. Okay, I don't see the mesh because I, I deactivated it. So NB to bring back the mesh. I want here to do this a little too big, I think so. In the Y, two, three, or four, and in the segments, I give it one, two. So, okay, that's okay. Oh, that's it, funny. Ooh, nice cave. <laughs> okay, so in 
A again, so uh, N A not M A. So. And now I take my uh, my cube and put it in the cloner. So MoGraph Alt on the keyboard and cloner. The cloner I put to object, and the object will be this light here. So I drag it in. So we have it here. <laughs> the distribution is surface. Okay. Let's transform it a little bit. So the x axis a little bit, and then the z axis a little bit. Yeah, so 15, 15. Okay. Then more cloner. We oui, we oui, more cloner. Okay. Hundred cloner. Okay. Then let's make a random effector. So go select the cloner. Homograph effector and random effector. I don't want to affect the position, I just want to affect the scale here and in the y axis. Minus 0 0.7 about and absolute scale. So point 0.5. Maybe even more cloner. Come on. So this cloner, I want a chrome material for this cloner. Double click, double click. Chrome. So. Did it, did it, reflectance. Conductor. Chromium, no specular, a little from you, and a little darker maybe. So, okay, and I drag it on my cube here. Now let's go to the uh, camera, and let's see what we get with this. Save it. Looks interesting, but it's not really what I want. Let's put the whole cloner in a subdivision surface. And go to the cloner and render instances for the moment and give it more. Uh -huh. Okay, we can use it, but I think we can make something more funny. Uh, when the instance is off, and again, okay, this is something we could use, let's say, but. Oh, here is a cloner. Ah, yes, yeah. go to the cube and not to the cube, to the light here. And uh, make a little so. light and caps, no caps. And why is this still here? It shouldn't be here. Uh, okay, now it's there. Good. Now let's play with this here. But let's play with less 
cloner first, so let's say 100. I have an idea what we can do. I take this cloner here, no subdivisions, this cloner and put it in a meta ball. Sounds crazy and it is. Alt click, so select the cloner, Alt on the keyboard and meta ball. Good. And the meta ball uh, makes a high value of 1000. Okay, and let's edit the subdivision of 5 so we can see something. It will need a little bit, so because it counts, it has something to calculate. No, but it's okay, this is okay now, so, but, <laughs> right click on the cloner and give it a meta ball tag. In this tag, we say type line. Let's see what it does. <laughs> yes, now it starts to be funny. Radius of five here, and we get a nice, nice building here. Okay, what we can do more, so save it. <laughs> if I go to the three, well, it will be much. Let's see how long it calculates, no, it's okay. And now, I get totally crazy. I select my meta ball, Alt-G, put it in a null. And I select my null, go to the deformers and take the smoothing deformer, shift on the keyboard and smoothing. And I get something like this. Okay, let's go to this cube and say you are 10. Should change something, okay. It looks crazy. <laughs> Maybe a little more 150 clones, but this will count that this will calculate a while, I think. Let's see. That's a little when a little count, a little calculating is okay for me. Ah, come on, show us something, okay. <clears throat> it looks like a lava. Yeah, it, I like it somehow. Maybe less. Come on. Yep, okay. Craziness has no end, so let's activate the subdivision surface. Does this something? Yeah, makes it everything smooth. So, and now. I take a copy of this uh, texture tag here, so control drag it on the meta ball, go to my camera, yeah, yeah, calculate, 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 okay, and let's see what we get here. This will need a little to render too, but just the calculation that the, the render itself. <laughs> okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This, somehow I like it. How is it without the smoothing deformer? Calculate, calculate, calculate. 
Come on, show us. Oh, that, that looks nice. That's not so shabby. Okay. Let's play here with the random mess. Or can we play? Has this clone or something? When I go to surface, see the. Let's play here. Six, six, six. Okay, let's clone first without the meter ball. I think then we get much faster results, of course. Okay. I want to do it with the meter ball, I like it. But here you can play uh, by your own, so, so find something. I think it looks nice, it looks very spacey. So, back to the camera. Smoothing, I don't know, should I smooth it? Should I, shouldn't I smooth? Hmm, should we smooth it? Looks good, looks great somehow. I'm gonna play with the seed here. That needs to calculate, but uh, now let it be. So. Now come on. Where are you? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think I let it be like this. I don't know. Let's make a render again. Let's see what we get. Sorry. So. I don't know how he did it. It looks really nice what he did. But I, it looks like this, but uh, just with different settings, make other cloners and then, then put it in a subdivision surf, uh, and in a meta pool and I did, but uh, this can be done so many ways it looks a little too uh, blobby this whole thing okay this is too but what is when I what's when I Go to here and what's when I make the strength is uh, let's say the half what we do do we get yeah. Oh yeah, I think I have what I want. Camera, boop. So in last minute, so and then I stop with with testing here, and then we try to make a nice render and go to Photoshop, and and we need. I uh, so uh, I've seen we need some glow, of course. Here, did it close to less? 
when we put this in the subdivision surface, makes this uh, da, 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 da. Make n q to deactivate the texture, so I see it better here. Yeah, that makes a difference, of course. Yeah, that looks nice with the smoothing deformer here. I like it. Yeah, when I like it, why shouldn't I do it? Yeah, that's it. So, do it. Yeah, this is, so this is what I like. So, save. Tuk. You are saved. So, let's see the last time. It's almost one hour again. Not with Chelsea, it's Sunday, so no stress today. Huh. Something. I need it. Somehow it looks, other when it's rendered, it looks different somehow. <laughs> I want more Kiona, so give it 175, this will be much too many, many too many, much too many, uh, too many. So, come on, show us what we get. Hello, okay. Maybe it's nice with just the cloner too, so without metaball things. But I like this metaball things. <laughs> no, somehow not. I don't know. Too many clones. Here in the smoothing to form a more smoothing. So. Yeah, stop it now. <laughs> Next thing is so, where is our glass? Here is our glass. Render this. Okay, I let it now like this with, with the smoothing deform and everything. If you don't like it, just make it just with the cloner or something, or do something, uh, whatever you want. Make just it. Uh, yes, it could do an easy thing. You could do. You could do. Uh, a cylinder here and make maybe an atom array or something else and make something like so the next thing what I want to do is maybe I want the, the volcano a little brighter and I want more I want more shine Illumination, oh, 300 is okay. Luminance, 200. And, and I try to make the volcano a little brighter. So I take the luminance and the volcano. Let's deactivate this for the moment. Here everything. For the render, so we, we render faster. Okay, and uh, make the volcano, the, the luminance channel, 
no transparency luminance is that but it's of course far too bright and I don't want that the volcano brightens up my scene it just be brighter here so for this I go again to the illumination and can deactivate the generate the illumination now you see we have a white uh, volcano but doesn't in, uh, affect our scene here okay yeah that's that, that I like more okay but here again I have problems with it I don't want it's yellow I want orange orange light okay good and now I make a render with the uh, with everything activated uh, but for this I pause the, the recording so we will I am back in a second for you so it's there, so okay. So what I have now is, this is uh, Metapol with Smooth Deformer. This is just the Metapol. And this is just the Cloner. And I think I will go with just the Cloner. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I see that it's, <laughs> that light is much too orange for me. So, but I think it's okay with just the Cloner. With this, this is too, too blobby. And this I don't know. I like it somehow, but yeah, it's nice. But because it looks like lava, uh, lava what comes out, I don't know. Uh, but I think for this, I, I go with this with the cloner one, and it, it renders the uh, fastest. So it, it has uh, it don't need so much time to pre uh, to prepare. So I don't need this. Uh, I don't want this orange color here so let's go back to the low settings here I don't need smoothing and don't need metapol I go with the uh, cloner itself so save it and uh, make a render with out the, uh, I'll go back to the orange and make it brighter here Go to 300. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that looks better. Nice glow here inside, and the yellow is is okay for me. Okay, I make a render of this, so I'm back in a second again. Okay, now we have this, and it's now it's again too yellow for me, so maybe Okay, and I render it now here, so I don't have to stop, I think, because of these 25 seconds. Of, so, let's render it. This is just a preparation, what needs a little time, but... Okay. Yeah, I think this is okay now. But I like here more the glow, and here I like more the color here. You have to find a middle thing. <laughs> Let's see.
Mm -hmm. I think this is okay now. Yes, I take this. Okay. So now I make an even uh, I make an even higher render. And then I go to Photoshop with this. Uh, first I try to make a render without ambient occlusion here. Let's see what we get here. That should render of course a little faster. A little faster is okay <laughs> since the hive. I think it's okay without ambient occlusion because this contrast here we get in the post work too. So. Yeah, I do it without ambient occlusion. Okay. So, but maybe we can put a little uh, details on the on the volcano again. So uh, it looks quite smooth. So go to the volcano texture and let's add some, but we don't need, uh, I don't think we need a displacement. Let's try it with the normal map. Go to the normal, take the effect normalizer. In our normalizer, we take noise. And go to 2D and let's see, I want some dense. I hit a 50. I should see something here normally. I wonder why I don't see his anything. Let's see, maybe it's the... Maybe we have to go to a cubic mapping or something else. Okay. Ah, I have deactivated the, the uh, textures. NQ, yeah, now I see it. <laughs> so that's okay so far. I want some. And you see, we don't need here. Uh, ah, I see here that the thing here that is the tiles. But if we go to the texture deck and say seamless, this is done. Let's go through just. Uh, uh, just uh, d uh, if you want to go through with the arrow keys, just uh, select one and then go through with the arrow keys. Uh -huh. yeah, so we don't need the displacement of the... the yeah, come on, the normal map works very good here. 
turbulence. Yeah, so sorry when I'm a little quiet, but here I have nothing to say, just test some. And here we can layer some noises again. Have, I just want to see some some small details. Uh, Okay, let's see that's that's okay. But or I go without them. Just a little noise, just a little noise is okay. Something like this. Five four three two one dun, dun. Okay, maybe in the render we don't see it anyway, so... Okay, and now I want to start to, to work with in Photoshop, so... bring a little more contrast inside and everything. And we see it too much almost. No. Okay, I go with this and now make a nice render see you soon or see you in a second. Okay, now we have here the render, and I have to say it's much better than I thought. Uh, it looks still many differences, so now it looks really exactly right. And I have enough details in, in my uh, volcano here. I have a nice glowing here, and I have everything like I wanted, and a nice, uh, nice reflections here, and everything. It's exactly what I wanted, so I'm a little surprised now. Okay, so let's go to Photoshop. Uh, yeah, so I copied this. Oh, I haven't opened Photoshop, so just break a little bit and in a second we see us in Photoshop. So, okay, now I do it like this. I save it here and then go to Photoshop. And that I thought about to copy it and, and uh, bring it to Photoshop, uh, but I want to show you how I save it. I save it every time as PSD and in 16-bit, and then, okay, Volcano PSD is okay, save it, and then I bring it to Photoshop, so go to Photoshop and open it. So, now we are here. The first thing I do every time is copy the background layer, so Control J. Next thing is uh, make a smart object out of it, right click, convert to smart object and with Control shift a I go to the camera row filter, here go to 100% and play with the clarity and ok, a little the vibrance we don't need really. Ok, 
Okay, let's see that. Okay. Then, what I want to do is I go, I make this again a smart object. So, right click, convert a smart object. And I take the Nick Filter collection again. So, uh, go to Color Effects. You will find the, the plugin, of course, in the uh, in the description of the video. So I have here my things I use every time. Darken lightness center will come later a little bit. So contrast color range. This is too much. Contrast only. No, I don't need it. So darken lightness center. Okay. That makes sense to me. Then here hinzufügen means add. This this uh, uh, Nick collection filter is in English available too, of course. So the detail extractor. Do you need it here? No, I don't think so. No, no, we have. That's too much, and we have enough details here. But the glamour glow maybe. Whoop. No, don't need it to. I need almost nothing. It's a nice render now. Yeah, the gradiated natural density makes it up a little darker. That looks nice. Okay, yes. This I want. And play with the add one. So play with the pro contrast. No. Okay. Yes, that looks nice. And now I try to make this a little more well, glowy here, maybe. What I do now is uh, I hit Control, Alt, Shift, and E. To put all layers, that makes uh, is one uh, shortcut for that. Put all layers under this uh, to one layer here, and I go to this layer and make a smart object out of, out of it. I have a, a shortcut here, uh, but so right click and convert to smart object. And now I want to I go to the levels. I want to make a. Uh, I don't know in English now what it's called. Let's see how I can do it. Maybe it stands somewhere here. Create clipping mask here. Yeah. And you can do the create clipping mask. You can go hold your Alt key and go between these two layers. And you see this. And now okay, just click on it. And here I go down with the. I just want the bright colors. something like this okay then I go to a here and make a filter blur Gaussian blur and blur it so that I just see it something like that Let's see if, if this has sense, has sense what I do here. It makes sense what I do here. And here I go to overlay. Let's do that. I don't think that's. No, I go to go through. Sometimes I don't know how to correct. 
the screen does screen do something no it does not really something because it's too bright this is this thing in, in with darker pictures you can uh, bring something to to shine a little bit but here it does not much no that's it don't need I can try another thing let's, let's delete this one delete it da -dum, bye bye again J and I rasterize it so oh, it's controller I shift E but, but if I have just one layer so I don't need this controller I shift E and just multiply this so we get we can uh, blur this one so I make a I make a uh, smart object out of it so blur again the caution blur again so blur, blur the whole thing so to be Okay. That's more foggy. You can get some. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. Or I make it simple and go to the analog effects. They have, there you get some really nice results too sometimes. So I make a smart object out of this. And now I go to filter in the collection analog FX. And here we get sometimes uh. <laughs> this looks nice I like this vintage look Yeah, but you can play with this uh, by wrong. So, but I liked this. No, that was not this. It was not this. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't need so to do to turn. Oh, this this is not so bad. I take it so because I don't have to. So, uh, oh. no, that is not a nice. This is the best. I take this. Yeah, I, I want to do one more. I go to again to camera sh uh, control shift A for the camera raw filter and I want a little vignette here. Yeah, now we will talk. That's it. That's what I want. I can a little sharpen this whole thing. Yes. And I see here we get some grain. 
it's not it's not bad here in this in this picture I think but we can get rid of this so I save this okay and now I again make a smart object out of the, or I copy it control J then rasterize it alt <laughs> shift uh, control alt R is rasterize then make a smart object again for me and again control shift A go to my camera raw filter and here now I go to the to the luminance, the noise reduction here, and you will see the noise disappears. See, we have no noise, but we lose uh, some. We lose the details here too. Now it looks <laughs> looks like uh, it looks nice, like snow. Huh? It looks good, but it's not what I thought. I would, but now, okay, I say yes. Difference is this and this. It looks nice with the snowy but if you don't want it on the volcano this noise reduction just go uh, here to this to the layer mask invert it with control i so now it doesn't but if i go now closer and i and if i want to just get rid of this noise here i have a here a black mask now i go to uh, to a brush with, with the white color is okay and just now I just paint in where I don't want the noise so I can get easily rid of the noise where I don't need it uh, or where, where I don't want it I just go over it And say so. No noise. Okay. Good so far. Yeah. See here we have this noise too, so we can go. out a little bit okay that's this so and now with noise without noise with noise without, I don't see it here with noise without noise with noise without noise but I think it looks nice with the with the snowy thing so I if I want to have the, the whole uh, thing black again, the whole mask, just select the mask. I have here background, so I I use Control and Delete, and I have a black mask. And now I invert the mask with Control I, and have this. I like it like this with this snowy look. I let it uh, let it be like this. I like this. No, well, do I like it? Oops, no, no. This is uh, this. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Hmm. I do it like snow. Okay, that's my result. I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, it was a little chaotic sometimes, I think. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, but uh, we got a nice result, I think. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. And so, and as I said, uh, Soon it will be. Uh, it will come more tutorials again. But uh, in the last two weeks, it was just uh, too busy. And you, you maybe you, you uh, realize it that I am not really uh, concentrated because I have a bigger project. And and, uh, and but it's it's coming. It's going to the end. And and it's okay. 
But when when someone says, "Hey, I sent you a very fine bottle of single malt scotch," who can say no? <laughs> so, okay, I hope you like this tutorial. I uh, hope to see you again next time, and uh, I hope to, to you post uh, some results of yours. And uh, as I said, I, I think about to make a website where I uh, put on my the, the results of my follower. And maybe we can uh, vote or something else, we will see. And yeah, that's it. You will find every link you need in the descriptions. There is a link for a donation too, if you want to donate. And of course you find a link to, to the Nicomedia Scenic Pro. Uh, it's still just 10 euro and it, every updates are free. Yeah, that's it for today. Have fun, have a nice day and uh, have a nice Sunday, of course. And yeah, see you soon, hopefully. I try my best to come out with more tutorials in, in the future. And uh, yes, and if you have questions, of course, you can ask me every time. Write it in the comments on Facebook, on, on my website or somewhere. Uh, I will ask and I will help if I can, of course. So. Yeah, let's say bye-bye, tschüss und baba.